What a remarkable discovery we've made. It's another late episode of Life in Germany. Well, at least I've been getting them out regularly late. Okay, if you are watching this, which I assume you are, there is about a 90% chance that you are German. You heard that right. About 90% of my views come from right here in Germany. Now, I find this a little bit funny because the Life in Germany series has always been and always will be kind of more geared towards the people who have never been to Germany. But Germans love watching because, and I quote, we get a through your eyes view of our country. Now, don't get me wrong. I love having a large German audience. In fact, if you watch and enjoy my videos, I love you no matter where you come from. So to all my German viewers, I really appreciate you. I still read every single one of your comments. I love your input, whether it be saying, hey, I like your video, or correcting my German, I need that by the way, or just calling me out when I say something stupid. Your support means a lot to me. And one of the things I get a lot from my German audience is that you guys like watching my videos because you get to see things that to you are completely normal, but to me are not. So you know what? This video is for you. Here are seven things that throw me off about Germany. So why don't we jump right in? Thing number one. Um, those buttons above the toilet. We, we don't do that in America. In America, we have these cute little levers on the side of the toilet. You just kind of pull a little bit. Toilet buttons are foreign objects and they scare me. Two, door handles. So on any normal door, like the one behind me, you know, you pull, the, the handle sticks out sideways and you pull it down to get out. But for things like the back door, if the handle's sticking sideways and you pull it down, you're still locked inside. And you gotta hold it sideways to get out. If you pull it down, the door locks. Windows are even worse. You turn that handle 180 degrees and the window tilts in. These things are just too confusing for me. Number three, the heaters. Now these things, I'm just not used to them. Because in America, like, we usually have central heating systems and, you know, one thing that controls the temperature for the whole house. And here you got these creepy looking thingies with a knob on them. These are also foreign objects. They are very seriously dangerous and must be treated accordingly. Number four is one I've mentioned before. The way cities in Germany are usually laid out is you have the main city, but then off of them you have the littler cities. Littler? I know speak English. Smaller cities lie around the big city. And in between each of the small cities, there is tons of farmland. What this means is you can be walking around downtown completely minding your own business and then all of a sudden What? Number five, it is typically very hard here to leave a convenience store or a supermarket without buying anything. It's not like in America where if you walk into a Walmart and decide that everything you see is utter crap, you can just walk right back out. No, here it seems like most places you have to go through the lines at the checkout aisles. That's all right though, because I was running low on vodka anyway. Number six. Now this next one might have been required by law at some point and then it just stuck. I don't know. If you know, you can just let me know in the comments. How about that? But it is very common here to turn your car off when you stop at a red light. And apparently studies show that if your car is going to be off for longer than three seconds, you save gas by turning it off, so seems legit. Taking seventh place is Rouladen. These things are creepy, but they are useful. I like to refer to them as the blast shields. Number eight. Did I say seven things at the beginning? If I did, I'm blonde. I meant ten, okay? Give me a break. Euros. Ooh, creepy. Specifically, coins. Because you see, in America, we have one dollar bills. Watch me pull a dollar bill out of my hair. Whoa, magic. We do have $2 bills as well, but they're not very common. I think this is because ultimately we just like stacks. Cause you know, you don't have to be very wealthy to have a nice fat stack of $1 bills and look really rich. So it takes a little bit of adjustment when you have to sacrifice your stacks for the one and two euro coins. I like them because you can just grab this coin and go get yourself a snack or a drink or whatever. I hate it because that is a heavy two euros. I mean, you know how it feels to carry around a whole bunch of coins in your pocket. So you, you don't want to have a whole lot of these on you. In the end, I do like them though. I like them a lot. The coolest thing though, is how much you will underestimate them. See this? stack of coins? That's 50 euros, or about 70 bucks. My mind was kind of blown when I counted that. However, there's also something really stupid about the euro. Everybody knows the one cent piece. We need these so we can create any sum of money down to the penny. But why the derp? Are there two cent pieces? This is like the stupidest thing ever. This piece of metal is a joke. Thing number nine. Fountain pens. In America, you are so posh if you use a fountain pen. Here in Germany, everyone uses them in school, elementary school through college. This is my fountain pen. There are many like it, but this one is mine. On to the final thing. Thang number 10. Waiting 
at a crosswalk. I mean, oh my derp. This is like seriously one of the funniest things in Germany. Now granted, a lot of Germans don't do this, but plenty do. There are people here who will wait at a red light at a crosswalk, even if there are no cars in sight. It's almost as stupid as the two cent piece. There's this crosswalk right near our house, and I think when it's especially cold, um, the, the, cr the light stops working. And the other day, there was this big group of people waiting there at that light. It was not changing. There were no cars in sight. And eventually one smart person decides, okay, look, this is stupid. So he starts walking across and this old lady is just like, Was macht der Schwein eigentlich? She was a grumpy old lady. Anyway, those are 10 of the things that throw me off about Germany. Not seven, 10. Sorry about that. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, if it made you smile at any one point, please leave me a thumbs up. It's like giving me a virtual back scratch, and I love back scratches. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Life in Germany. Sorry for it being late again. I will fix this someday, I promise. And I'll see you guys next week. Same out. Probably more do not fall under this stereotype. Now, if I ever find someone who fits into that other 5% or less, you just better hope I don't have my kukri machete on me.